Okay, we're going to try and create a 3D book using 2D graphics. How about that? First, we'll make sure our comp is set to square pixels, and we'll have a duration of 20 seconds. We're going to use a solid layer to create our grid. Yeah, we're going to make our grid uh, a square 800 pixels by 800 pixels. So from the effects menu, we want to select Generate Grid. Now what we're going to do is look at this from uh, different views. but we have to turn this into a 3D object in order to see things in 3D. So there's some switches that we're going to have to find. And on the right hand side of your timeline, there's a drop down menu. And you have a number of options there. And one of them is to turn on and off the various columns. We have our modes turned on right now but we also need to turn on our switches. So once the switches is turned on, we can then uh, flip the 3D switch to make this layer viewable in the 3D mode. We're going to adjust the grid with a 90 degree rotation on the x-axis. Now this is what it looks like in the view. It looks like that uh, green solid just disappeared. In other words, the grid disappeared. But it didn't. It's just the view that we have now is 90 degrees. And because it is a 2D image, we don't have a, a side to it. But if we look at it from a different view, from the top, we can see that uh, there is something going on there. We have a grid. So we have these different uh, views. And we're going to use the custom view for today. You can also switch which window you're in by clicking on it and the orange tabs in the bottom corners indicate which window you have open. We're going to turn the 3D grid into a guide layer. As we don't really want to see it, but we want to see the objects that are placed on it. So we turn it into a guide layer, which makes it invisible. And lock that layer so we don't disturb it in any way. And we'll just save our project. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a graphic and, and start our 3D book. So I've got a JPEG file there uh, imported. And we have this great tool called the Orbit Camera Tool. 
you press C on the keyboard, you can cycle through the different tools. And one's a zoom tool and one's a rotate tool. So we have the rotate tool. We can rotate about. And the graphic that we just brought in must also be set to 3D to be viewable in a 3D mode. So there you can see it. A 2D graphic in a 3D space. We're just moving, moving about. You can see the use of the grid. It uh, really helps uh, with aligning images. So right away we're going to bring that image down. It's uh, floating above what I'd like to call the floor. The grid provides us with a floor. At least a guide for a floor. And there we go by just adjusting the height we've lowered the picture. Now I've also duplicated that picture and we want to make a back to our book so I brought it in and just moved it 40 pixels behind. Now we're going to have to do a little work on the back cover. We're going to have to rotate it. Now watch what happens if we try 90 degrees. We're going to splice the uh, front right in half. So that's not what we wanted. So 180 degrees gives us the, uh, the flip we wanted. Basically I wanted the uh, front cover to look like the back cover. Isn't that something? Next up we're going to create some pages. A spine and some type. 